There are different procedures that we should follow when performing calculations on numbers that include uncertainty values. These are based on the different math procedures we are performing. When adding or subtracting, we add or combine the uncertainties of each quantity. Remember that absolute uncertainties are presented in the same units as our original measurement or value. First, we will add or subtract as normal using our values. Next, we will add or combine our uncertainties. Even if we are subtracting our measured values, we will still add our uncertainties. When multiplying or dividing values with uncertainties, we add our relative uncertainties. Remember that relative uncertainties are presented with a percentage. And to calculate a relative uncertainty, we take our absolute uncertainty and divide it by our measured value. Then we multiply by 100% to convert it to a percentage. To multiply or divide values with uncertainties, we will first complete the proper math function on our measured values. Then we will add our relative uncertainties together. Again, it doesn't matter if we are multiplying or dividing our values, we will still add our relative uncertainties. You can notice from these two examples that our relative uncertainties in our answer should be the same whether we are multiplying or dividing our values with uncertainties. If we are multiplying a measured value with an uncertainty by a constant, then we will also multiply the absolute uncertainty by the same constant. However, if our measured value has a relative uncertainty, we will make no change to that percentage. Our relative uncertainty will remain the same. And we will just multiply our measured value by the constant. If you are taking the power of a value or measurement with an uncertainty, then you will multiply the relative uncertainty by the number in the power.